Hello friends, this is Satwinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I'm a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today, very excited because today I'll be sharing with you not one, two express entry draws. One which happened today, one which happened yesterday. So two express entry draws with complete analysis, but before that, very small request to you. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. And we talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update, tips, tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends so that they can also benefit. Please press the bell icon so this video comes to you immediately when we upload. Just remember one single thing, this channel is dedicated to Canadian immigration. Anything happening on Canadian immigration, you will get it here. So with that, let's move on to a very important topic, which is express entry and express entry. This is the first express entry draw in the month of November. So month of November, express entry draw, first draw. So 44th express entry draw of 2024. This year's 44th express entry draw, draw number is 322. So two draws happened, one draw happened yesterday, one draw happened today. So let's go one by one. Let me explain you the draw which happened yesterday and then we will come to the today's draw. So this is 322 draw number and 44th draw and 44th express entry draw from the government website. Here is the information. Let me explain to you this line by line so it's very clear to you. This draw happened yesterday, which is Tuesday, November 12th. The draw was how many people were called? 733 people were invited, ITA were issued, and this is the PNP draw. What is a PNP draw? I'll explain you later. Right? So now the CRS. The CRS was 812. Remember, in a PNP draw, 600 points come because of the PNP itself. So that CRS cutoff was 812 and CRS cutoff increased because 23rd November was the last draw, October was the last draw and after that 12th November was a draw. So if you compare with 23rd October, the points increased by 379. Tie breaking rule is March 2nd, 2024. With this information, let's see the 45th draw, which is today. So today also express entry draw came and the draw number is 323. So this draw from the government website, here is the information and the draw 400 people were invited, just 400 people. It was when I actually saw the numbers, I was like too surprised what's going on. This is a CEC draw. 400 people were invited and look at the CRS. Unbelievable. 547 CRS. That's unbelievable. So we'll do complete details and analysis about all this. But let me first tell you where is CEC and PNP come into the picture. So if you look at the express entry, express entry is basically divided into two parts. The federal component and the provincial component. Under the federal component, you have federal skill worker, you have CEC, Canadian experience class, federal skill trade, and under the province, you have PNP, provincial nominee program. So PNP gives you 600 points in the express entry, and that's where the draw came, PNP and CEC draw. So First of all, let me say many congratulations to whosoever who has got this because it's not easy. It's not easy. The CRS is skyrocketed. So I can understand how much efforts the person has put in to get this ITA. So many congratulations. And if you need any kind of professional help, you can reach out to my office. We can help you from this point also to get you the PR. You got the golden ticket. Remember, you got the golden ticket, but your journey has now started. So if you need any kind of professional help in this journey, you can reach out to my office and get the PR properly. So with this, let's move on to analysis. 
Now, this is the main component of the video. So, please watch this part very carefully because numbers anybody can provide you. But analysis, nobody is going to provide. Nobody provides you the analysis only in this channel. At this channel only you get all this analysis. So, they can just talk, talk, talk. Nobody provides you with the details. Nobody tells you what you should do. So, here you get all this information. Now, analysis. Two analysis components are very important. One is ITA and the second one is CRS. So, when we talk about ITA, we have to understand that ITA, if the number of draws increase, the ITA increases. That's simple kind of connection between ITA and draws. More draws, more ITA. So, let us first see what happened month by month in number of draws. So, draws per month, if you look at it, here is the entire information. So, in the current month of November, only two draws happened, one yesterday, one today. So, two draws yesterday, today. October, six draws. And if you see highest number of draws, it is in the month of July. So, if you see graphically, you can understand this information more better. Here is the graphical information. Nine draws in July, six draws in February, six draws in October. So, the month which passed, October. And five draws in the month of August. So, you can see here much, most of the ITAs came in this particular areas. So, now let us look at the ITAs. If you look at the ITAs, maximum ITAs of course in July because 9 draws came followed by February. Again, let us look the graph part which will be easier. 25,000 ITAs in the month of July. 16,000 ITAs in February. February number 2, 16,000 ITAs. August number 3, 10,000 plus ITAs. So, right now in November, we just got 1,000 ITAs. I am hoping more draws will come and I will explain you the trend also. In the end of the video, I will explain you a very important trend. So, that is about ITA. Now, let us look at the each category in express entry what happened. So, if you look at the category based draws, so 38,000 people got ITA in the category based system. So, there are six categories in express entry, French, agriculture, STEM, trade, transport. So, all these six categories are there, but they are currently there in 2024. In the 2025, these categories are going to reduce to three. And those three categories will be healthcare, trade, and French. STEM is out, transport is out, agriculture is out. So, only three categories are there. For now, yes, there are six categories. And total of these six categories is 38,000, almost 38,000. So, next number which we want to see is the CEC. So, CEC, I will share lots of detail about CEC almost at the end of the video. So, please hang tight over there. And CEC, 26,000 people got ITS under the CEC category. So, 9 draws in CEC. We will talk more detail at the end of the video about CEC. And next category is all programs. So, all program draws or any category draws, they are called almost 14,000 people got ITN. So, last which is PNP, under the PNP, 13,000 plus people have got IT. That's the information. If you look at all this information on the chart, it will be looking like this. So, under the category based system, 38,000, 26,000, 14,000, 13,000. Total 91,000 people have got the ITA so far. So, 91, 92,000 approximately. 
if you look at these 92,000, we are in the month of November. So government is the target which government thought of 100,000 plus people. Government is getting very, very close to those targets. So I am very confident that government can, are going to achieve or surpass. Either they are going to achieve or surpass the target of 100,000. So let us see what will happen. So if you look all these numbers in a chart, you can understand about 41% of the share of express entry is with category based system. So if you are in a category based system, your chances are very, very high. And CEC, almost 30% of the share is with CEC, followed by general category, followed by PNP, which is 15%. So that's the numbers. Now, let me share very important details about CEC draw. So nine CEC draws happened, Canadian experience class draws. So there was a time when almost for two and a half, three years, there was no draw. We were waiting for CEC draw, CEC draw. I started a petition. I sent emails to get, to request minister to conduct CEC draw. So CEC draw happened. Till now, in this year, nine CEC draws happened. But look at what is happening in the trend. So CEC draws, if you see the graphical numbers here, the ITAs, number of ITAs, Usually in a CEC draw are 4,000, 3,000, 5,000, 6,000. Look at those numbers. But last three draws, I don't know what is happening. So last three draws, only 500, 400, 400. So number of ITAs in CEC has reduced significantly. Reduced to almost 10%. 4,000. So here, look at just 400. So reduced by almost 90% is reduced. What you are getting and what is there is just the 10% share. So I don't know the reason. There could be maybe their quota exhausted. Maybe they want to clear some lot. So not sure what the government has the plan. But if you look at the numbers, yes, the numbers have reduced significantly. That's about ITA. Look at one more area. That is CRS. So CRS starting when the draws actually started. Here 522 was a CRS. And it reduced. Continuously reduced. It's going down all the way. But last three draws. You look at the numbers. 539, 539, 547. So, nobody can achieve 530, 547. Nobody can achieve 547. Without the, and I'm telling you openly, without the help of LMIA, you cannot achieve 547. There is no way you can achieve 547 without the help of LMIA. So, 50 CRS points which come from LMIA, only then you can achieve 547 score. So suppose your score is, say, 497, add 50 points, you become 597 because of the LMI. So anybody who has got, so I can tell you almost all the 400 people who have got invite under this have the LMI. You cannot, it's humanly impossible to achieve 547 score without LMI. Impossible. So, lots of people have got LMI, which is very, very clear. You can see 547 CC without LMI is impossible. So, that's one important thing to understand. Now, another thing is CRS. Now, if we talk about the CRS, the lowest CRS till now is French and I doubt nobody can beat French because French has the lowest CRS and it will keep the lowest CRS. So the lowest CRS was 336 and it was with French and it will remain with French. So that's about the information I wanted to share with you and if you need to discuss your case, 
But before that, I have something important to share with you. I have a pattern and remember, this pattern nobody will share with you. This is a very special pattern. Just look at this pattern. So, and I want you to answer that. Comment. Please do comment. What do you expect? Here is a pattern. So, 7th, 9th, 10th, October, PNP draw, CEC draw, then category based draw. Again, another pattern. 21st October, 22nd October, 23rd October, PNP draw, CEC draw, and then category based draw. So, here is the another pattern. 12th November, 13th November, tomorrow, 14th November. TNP draw, CEC draw, trade draw or which category? I don't know. So, please do comment. What do you think? Which type of category? Because I am hoping there will be a category based draw tomorrow. So, let us see which category. It could be French. It could be healthcare. You do comment. What do you think? So, with that, if you need to discuss your own case with us, more than welcome. You can book an appointment with us. Our office is located in Brampton. Address, email ID, phone number. Everything is shared right here with you. And very important, if you have still not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks.